about Microsoft and now iCloud are coming out with tools so that people can work collaboratively online. The best office suite for collaborative work online is Google Drive. And Google Drive is a free tool available to Google accounts, or in our case, the University of Minnesota, University of Minnesota accounts. And to use it, all you have to do is go to google.com and then familiarize yourself with the taskbar. The taskbar includes your Google+, Plus, your YouTube account, that everybody that has a Google account has one as well, your Gmail, your Google Drive, your Google Calendar. If you click on Google Drive, you click there, you'll go to your Google Drive account, type your X500, no password, and then you'll have access to your Google Drive. There, click Create. In this case, I'm going to create a document that I'm going to then ask students to fill out with their names. Sign up, cheat. And then I'll insert the table. After that, after you create what you want to share, and it could be in the, you know, the beginning of a paper, it could be anything. In this case, it's a sign up sheet. Um, click on share, and then change the privacy settings. In this case, you can maybe set it up to people, anybody with a link can edit if you want. Or you can add the particular emails that you want to share with here and invite people individually. However, I find it easier to just set the sharings, the settings to an open setting and just share the URL itself. So if I did this, then that other person now also has editing access. You can manage the level of access to commenting or viewing or editing, which each person that you add. But if you add people in bulk by just sharing a link that allows editing, they might you might not even be able to tell who it is because they don't have to sign in to edit, it'll say anonymous edited this, Anonymous did that, so it won't, you won't be able to as easily track who did what changes, but it does track every change. So then you copy that URL, and then you go to your Moodle site, and you can add that by adding the URL. In this case, I can add it to this uh, label if I want to. Save changes. And now quickly, I'll also add it as a URL within um, Moodle. In this case, I'll add an activity or resource. See, here it is. Add an activity or resource. URL. Google Docs. Sign up sheet. Add the URL there. Remember to fill out everything that's red. External URL and name are both red. They need to be filled out since they're red. Save and return to course. Now we go, we have a little icon here that tells you that is an online resource, a URL. Click the Google Docs and then it'll take me to the table that I created before. Thanks.